What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another episode of Fight Like a Superhero here with another entry into the series uh, and another Batman related entry, hence the hat. Um, we are going to be doing Batwoman. Batwoman is coming into popularity. Uh, she's in the new CW uh, crossover event, and I think she's getting a new show. She's also in a couple of the recent animated movies, and she's really a cool character. And so I want to do a video about her as the next Bat Family-ish kind of related injury into the Fight Like a Superhero series. With that said though, a lot of people don't actually know who Batwoman is. They think Batgirl and it's not Batgirl. Barbara Gordon is a completely different character. Um, Kate Kane is completely unique and uh, a very interesting character when you break it down. So I'm gonna give a quick rundown of her origin. It's gonna take like 30 seconds here. We go. The daughter of a general and spent a long time training with the military. She was actually kicked out of the military because at the time they were not into letting members of the LGBTQ community into the military and she is lesbian. After that, she spends about two years as a, civil as a civilian and she gets mugged by this random dude. Cause you know, it's Gotham. She stops the dude that's mugging her and Batman swoops in afterwards and congratulates her and says that's a good job, that she did a good job. And that's exactly what she needed to move forward. She then talks to her father, who is still a general in the military, about becoming a vigilante. Her dad's not all about it at first, but then he realizes that that's what she wants to do to kind of give to back to the country. She then travels around the world with her father, training in a bunch of different locations around the around the world, and her father eventually makes her her Batwoman suit. She now patrols Gotham and kind of fills in for Batman, even taking on some of the bigger villains like Scarecrow uh, when Batman is busy. Okay, so now we got the basic rundown of who she is. Let's get into her fighting style. Because she was not trained by Batman and trained by the military and other organizations, her fighting style is very different from the rest of the Bat family, and Batman does not always approve of it. First off, she carries a gun, which if you don't know, Batman doesn't like guns. And using a gun makes you just like them. And she will use it on even lower class thugs and uh, villains. So. She is not above the whole no killing rule that Batman is. I do. She's also very brutal in her actual fighting style. When the gun's not there, or when she's out of ammo, she will throw down and it will be very, very brutal. Using her knees, elbows, uh, to gash heads in and, and break bones in such a brutal way that even Batman doesn't do that, which if Batman doesn't do it, it's pretty messed up because he, he hurts people as it is. She also has a affiliation with Kicks that no other Bat family member really has other than probably Batgirl. I don't know what it is with DC characters and their women loving to kick. even though it doesn't always make sense why they do, but Batwoman is yet another example of a DC woman loving to throw her kicks and being very successful at it, when she, especially when she was in the animated uh, Batman series. She was shown to do a lot of kicks, almost entirely kicks. She also is very adept with knife fighting. Be being trained by the military, knife fighting was a large part of her training and she is able to not only keep up with, but beat the people she trained with and she trained under like her father. As a martial artist in general, she is excellent. She was able to keep up with and stalemate Talia al Ghul, who was at the time the leader of the League of Assassins, which is nothing to scoff at. It took me like seven tries to say League of Assassins. Like that was whew, too much. All right, so that's enough of me talking and it's time to get into some combinations that you can do to kind of shape your fighting style to fight like her. 
All right, so the first combo we're gonna do is one of her very brutal breaks that she actually does in the animated series with just a little bit of modification. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick, start with our fighting stance and they're gonna be punching at us with their right hand. So our left side, their right hand. So what we're gonna do first is you're gonna step to our right side and block with your left hand, just like this, bang. Just like that, keeping that open hand because you want to grab their arm as soon as you uh, block it. So you block and grab, just like this. Once you have their arm extended, you're gonna take your right hand and underneath the elbow, you're going to pop their elbow up and breaking their elbow, just like that. So block, break, just like that. So once we get there, block, grab, break, you're going to step through elbow to the hinge of the jaw, breaking their jaw, wrapping your arm around their head and kneeing their, your, their head with your knee. So one more time, what we're gonna do is you're gonna block, grab, break, elbow, wrap, knee. One more time, I'll do it at more of this angle so you can see a little differently. Block, grab, break, elbow, knee. One more time, all the way through, I'll do it at this angle. The next combo is gonna be more of a kick-based combo. So here we go. What we're gonna do is first, at, when they punch at us, we're gonna step back with our right leg and block with our left hand, blocking that punch out of the way. So bang, blocking, just like that. One more time from this, uh, this side. Bang, blocking, just like that. Now, from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lead leg, the leg closest to them, you're gonna lift it up, and you're going to fire that side kick into their knee, just like that. And you wanna, just above that kneecap is where I like kicking, but you can hit directly at the knee. The goal is to blow out that knee, because again, she's very brutal. So, you're going to block, knee, and then you're going to spin opposite away from them so you're gonna spin to your right with a high axe kick just like that so that you come down and drop it on their head or their collarbone one more time watch block side kick breaking that knee and dropping it just like that all the way through one two three so our last combo is gonna be a knife combo using this knife right here. It's one of my oldest knives. <clears throat> so if you want me to do a review on it, let me know. I don't, I could probably figure out where I got it. So, so anyway, what we're gonna do is you're gonna hold that knife in our right hand. So you're gonna step forward with, and we're going to attack with this, uh, with this combination. You're gonna go one and two, just like that. Now keeping your other hand up here, blocking you. So one more time, one and two just like that. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your left hand and you're going to block their incoming swing on the inside of their arm because we're gonna assume they also have a knife in their right hand. You wanna block on the inside of their arm. So just like that. Once you catch that, you wanna grab it so you have control of where their knife is. One more time, so we'll go through it. One, two, stepping forward, blocking protecting yourself so you're gonna block and grab their swing you're gonna take your knife you're gonna go up into the arm and then take that knife out and across the face with the back end of the knife knocking them out and make sure you hold on to that knife so that they either let go of the knife and you take the knife or you keep them close so you can get that head bash with the back of your knife one more time watching you're going to one two Grab up the side, up underneath into the arm, out and across the face, just like that. I'll do it facing this way. One, two, block, grab, up, and back of the, the, the knife. Not actually using the blade, but the back of the knife across their face, just knocking them. One more time, all the way through. One, two, three, four. 
Thank you guys for watching. I love doing these videos. It gives me an opportunity to just watch a bunch of superhero fights online. So appreciate you guys watching. If you want to see other characters be done, definitely let me know down in the comments. That is the best way to tell me what you want to see. Uh, let me know what, honestly, what characters do you want to see? Uh, and if you're on my Discord, that's even better because I take those suggestions first for sure. So link to that Discord in the description below. With all that said, I'll see you next time because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.